Hey there, good morning. It is Saturday, 9-11, the 20th anniversary of the attack. <clears throat> um, so that means I was only 37. I was very early on in my career at Richmond School, and I'm sure each of us remember where we were when we heard this happened in our country, who we were with and how how that day progressed. So I was at school working um, and Beth Hall worked for me at the time and she came in and she said, uh, a plane hit the Twin Towers. I'm like, oh, wow, that sounds terrible. You know, I'm thinking a little Cessna like my grandfather used to fly and that, you know, hit the tower and, you know, fell down. That's all I'm seeing. And she wasn't seeing anything either because she just heard it on the radio as she was coming in. And then uh, Ricky set up a TV in the staff room and uh, then we started seeing what was really happening. And it was, um, it was really, uh, for me, I felt like I didn't get it. And one of the times when I walked over um, was actually when one of the towers fell. I think it was the first tower, but I, I watched it fall and I knew my, I wasn't, I wasn't getting it. And I'm like, how is that building just falling? I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really get it. Um, and so I think that that whole day was like a lot of that, like not understanding, you know, horrified for the people that were there, you know, and then hearing about the plane crash, the plane that got taken down in Pennsylvania, lots of information. And even after 20 years, I think we all have a lot of difficulty in processing that. So today I'm just going to take a moment and process what it looks like to me 20 years later and, uh, and y'all do what works for you. Uh, but today's going to be a super nice day. Lots of sun up in the seventies, get outside, do something fun and maybe do some remembering and contemplation or whatever may or may not work for you on this particular day. I'm out. Bye-bye.